Hello everyone, this is Ms. Samra. I'm back with my next lesson. And today I have, I'm back to 7-3 now. So 7-3 is about solving system of equations. But then you guys might gonna think, how come it's different than the one we did before? Now, before we did two by two, means two equations with two variables. So it was two by two. But today's lesson is on three by threes. It means you'll see three equations with three different variables. <laughs> so two by twos was pretty easy because you had something like this. Two equations with two different variables, like this. And what used what we used to do, it was like, okay, so you can just eliminate one of the variables like this, and then you can just, you're down to one variable, and then you can just solve for that, isn't it? But when it becomes three by three, your equation's gonna look something like this. So let's say I have x minus y plus 2z it's equal to negative 3 2x plus y minus z is equal to 0 negative x plus 2y minus 3z and it's equal to 7 all right so there is no way you can just eliminate all three at the same time and then solve for the leftover equation there's no way you could do that even though if you try eliminating one then you your equation is going to be down to two different variables which is still not possible to solve for one of the variable so how do we approach something like this this is slightly different so how do we do that Okay, you know what, this whole process has like, kind of like few steps to follow. So what I want you to do is just to keep it organized, what I want you to do is just label every single thing. Why? Because later on, let's say if you mess up on one tiny thing and you wanna go back and check, trust me, you won't be able to do that. So it's easier if you label every single step. Like here, I'll start off with labeling all three equations. So I'm just gonna say this is my first equation, my second equation, and my third equation. Here comes my first step. So first step is you need to pick any combination of two e equations and you need to eliminate one variable. I repeat, pick any combination of two equations and eliminate, an, eliminate a variable. So like, let's say, I'm gonna show you a few different options you could try. Like let's say if I take first and second, then I can eliminate y's because I see same numbers with opposite sign. Let's say if I take first and third, then I can eliminate x's. So whichever way is easier, you can follow that. So let me show you first step. So first step, let's say pick a different color. So again, I'll start off with labeling every single thing. So I'm going to take first and second, I'll eliminate y's. So I'll label that down here. So I have first and second equation. Let's rewrite it. Trust me, if you actually follow these steps and try to keep everything organized, trust me, it's going to be way easier. Now I can eliminate y's and combine the rest. So this is combined to 3x, this is z, and it's equal to negative 3. And I would label this as my fourth equation. Now the idea is what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get two equations down to two variables. So what I see is so far I have my first equation down to two variables. I have to have one more like this. So for that you need to go back to these original ones again. Pick another combination of two equations and try eliminating the same variable. Why? Because we are lining up that equation with this number four equation. So number four has x and z in it. All right, so it means there's no y. So when I take my next combination, make sure you eliminate the same variable, which is y. So let's pick, how about if I take first and third? 
first and third so i'm just going to read oh in order to eliminate y's isn't it you have to have same number with the opposite sign but the top equation doesn't have two so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to multiply the top equation by two so after multiplying by two it would look something like this The bottom one still stays the same, which is number 3, negative x plus 2y, 3z, and it's equal to 7. Let's eliminate y's. I repeat, make sure you eliminate the same variable you eliminated in the first combination, all right? So combine the rest, so this becomes, oh, this is x, this is z, and it's equal to 1. So I would label this as my fifth equation now we're almost there now time to combine four and five so four and five i have three x plus z is equal to negative three x plus z and it's equal to one so in order to eliminate another variable from these two i need to if i want to eliminate z's i have to multiply the bottom one by a negative so if I multiply by negative, this would become negative. Now I can cancel out the z's. So I have 3 minus x would be 2x, negative 4, and x is equal to negative 2. All right, got my first answer. Now time to solve for remaining two variable, which I have to use this one to solve for. Okay, I already have my x answer. How to find the second one? So now you can plug it into one of these equations to solve for the second variable. I'm going to pick the bottom one. I have x plus z is equal to 1. Plug in for x, so x is equal to negative 2 plus z it's equal to one add to both sides so z is equal to three that's my second answer almost there how do we find the third one so for that you need to go back to original equations pick any of the original equation and plug both of these in and solve for the last one so let me go back let's pick uh i'll take the first one x minus y plus 2z x minus y plus 2z and it's equal to negative 3. So let's plug in for x, which is negative 2. Negative 2, y is, oh, y is still missing. z is 3, so 2 times 3 is 6, and it's equal to negative 3. Combine these two, so negative y plus 4, it's equal to negative 3. And negative y is equal to negative 7, and divide by negative, so my answer would be 7. So finally, my final solution is negative 2 seven and three here you go so that's how we do it so let me repeat this whole process again please try to keep everything organized and please label every single step first what i did i pick a combination where i can eliminate one of the variables so i pick first and second eliminate as y's then go back to original pick a different combination and make sure you eliminate the same variable i pick first and third but in order to eliminate y's i had to multiply the first one by two once i have my new equation which is four and five i combined those two eliminated another variable and this is how i got my first answer and once i have that Use my new equation to solve for second and use my original one to solve for the last one. All right. And yeah, this is pretty much all. So guys, now next week, there's going to be no lesson. Why? Because we have our official spring break next week. And I'm so excited. All right. So enjoy your break. Stay safe.